Yes, let us take one new case. In a bolt factory, machine A, B and C manufacture respectively 25%, 35% and 40%. That means total production 100% is produced or manufactured on three machines. A produces 25%, B produces 35% and C produces 40%. Again, three mutually exclusive and exhaustive cases. In other words, if the board manufactured by the company is selected at random, the probability that machine A manufactured it is 25%. Machine B manufactured it is 35% and machine C manufactured it is 40%. Of their output, 5%, 4% and 2% are defective bolts. Yes, that means out of output of machine A, 5% are defective. Out of the output of B, 4% defective. And out of the output of C, 2% defective. This is the information about the conditional probability of any bolt being defective. Probability of any bolt selected at random being defective if manufactured by machine A, 5%. Probability of the bolt being defective if manufactured by machine B, 4%. And probability of a bolt being defective if manufactured by machine C, 2%. Yes, so these three are conditional probabilities. A bolt is drawn at random from the production and is found to be defective. The event has happened, the bolt is defective. What is the probability that machines A or B or C manufactured it? This is the case of inverse or posterior or revised probabilities of machine A, B, C. Again, Thomas Bayes, Bayes theorem. Let us use the signs. Event A1 machine A produces or produce the bolt. A2 machine B produced or produces the bolt or bolt or any item. A3 machine C produced or produces the bolt or the item. And B the bolt or the item is defective. You can use letter B to indicate defective. Now probabilities. Probability of A1, P of A1. That means probability of any item or bolt manufactured by machine A is 25% or 0.25. Probability of A2, 35% manufactured by B, that means 35% or 0.35. And probability of A3, 40% of the goods are manufactured by machine C, that means 40% or 0.4. Of their output, 5%, 4% and 2% are defective. Probability of any bolt or item being defective if manufactured by machine A. That means P of B given A. Equals to, that is given to be 5%. So, 0 0.05. Similarly, probability of any bolt being defective if manufactured by machine B. P of B given A2 is 4%, that means 0 0.04. And probability of any bolt being defective if manufactured by machine C. That is P of B given, sorry, not C, but A3. 
or 0 0.02. To calculate the posterior probabilities of machine A, B, C or A1, A2, A3, first we have to calculate probability of B. Yes? Then again we are going to use the tabular approach. First machine AI prior probability of machines P of AI conditional probability of bolt being defective that is probability of B given AI joint probability of machine and defective bolt and the last posterior probability of machine. This is probability of AI intersection B and this is probability of AI given B that is P of AI intersection B divided by P of B. So first of all we have to find P of B or any bolt or selected bolt being defective. There are three machines A event A1, B event A2, C event A3. P of A1 0.25, P of A2 0.35 and P of A3 0.4. Prior probabilities are this. Now conditional probabilities. 5%, 4% and 2%. P of B given A1 that is 0 0.05. P of B given A2 that is 0 0.04. And P of B given A3 0.02. Multiplication gives us the probability of intersection. P of A1 intersection B. That is 0 0.25 into 0 0.05. 25 upon 100 into 5 upon 100. That means 125 upon 10,000. So it comes to 0 point or point 0.0125. Probability of A2 intersection B. Multiplication of 0 0.35 and 0 0.04. 35 upon 100 into 4 upon 100. So it is 140 upon 10,000. So it is 0 0.014 or 140. The third is probability of A3 intersection B. That is 0 0.4 into 0 0.02. 40 upon 100 into 2 upon 100. So it is 80 upon 10,000 or 0 0.008 or 80. Summation of these three is probability of B or probability of any randomly selected board being defective. 125 plus 140, that means 265 plus 80. So ultimately the total is 0 0.03. 4, 5. Is it? Roughly we can say that if 10,000 bolts manufactured by machine A, B and C are stocked together in the ratio of 0 0.25, 0 0.35, 0 0.4 out of which we can expect that 345 volts will be defective or can be defective. This is actually long run average. Many times the 
experiment of finding the defective volts is actually done. In the long run, this can be the average. Out of every 10,000 volts, we can believe that 345 can be defective. Now, the turn of posterior or inverse or revised probabilities of machine A, B and C if we know that the selected bolt is defective. So, probability of A1 given B that means P of A1 intersection B divided by P of B 0 0.0125 divided by 0 0.0345 0 0.3623 3. Okay. P of A2 given B that means probability of machine B if the volt is defective that is 0 0.014 divided by 0 0.0345 0.4058 Probability of A3 given B that means probability of machine 3 if the bolt is defective 0 0.008 divided by point double, sorry, point zero three four five. 0 0.2319 Just verify that the summation is 1 Got it?